neighbors. Welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a budget recipe. It's very quick, very easy, very simple, inexpensive. Most of the stuff you probably already have in your pantry. So I thought this is what we would do. Uh, I'm doing this in collaboration with my best, with my bestie, Linda, over at Create with Linda. Uh, she's a wonderful lady. Her link to her channel will be in the description box along with the recipe. I always put the recipes in the description box if you're ever looking for them. I also put a little, I do a little note to you all. I do the recipe. I do my links. That's the order I usually do. So anywho, let, let's uh, chit chat as I'm making it. I'm sitting in a stool because uh, this is one of the days that I'm going to need my cane a lot. So usually in the kitchen, I can do the kitchen because there's always counters I can kind of lean on. But uh, today, I'm going to sit. Anywho, I have two cans of cream of celery soup. After I put everything in, I'll bring this over. Um, so 284 mils, I'll have to put, uh, that's probably, that's uh, 10 ounces. So 284 mils, 10 ounces. I'm going to, this is cream of celery, but you can use cream of whatever your heart desires, uh, cream of mushroom, you know, cream of chicken, whatever. I felt the cream of celery today. So yesterday you saw my video, I went to the store and picked up two cans. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching that, by the way. So that's one can. Two. I didn't uh, film using that can opener. Goodness, I still didn't get a new one. I have to. What a struggle. What a struggle. Okay. So I have, also I have two, uh, 198 grams of flake tuna. So seven ounces. And I, uh, took the liquids off like I strained it. This is the second one. Yeah, I have so many budget recipes. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, this is uh, tuna casserole in slow cooker. Um, yeah, just, I have an awful lot. So um, if you're interested in budget recipes, I can put up more. Okay, this is a cup of frozen peas. Now Linda, she does hauls, she does, uh, she goes to the grocery store, she, but hanging out in her kitchen with her, watching her cook and just sitting down with a cup of coffee for her videos is a nice thing. So a cup of frozen peas. I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm going to put a tablespoon anyways of uh, dried parsley flakes. Okay, I'm going to put two or three dashes or two or three teaspoons of Worcestershire. Worcest it was told to me by a good friend here, pepperoni, how to say this. And it's Worce, and I'm going to probably butcher it. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. War. Okay, anyway. I have a small diced onion here. I diced it up small because I really want the onion to have time to cook down in this. You can saute the onion if you want before you put it in. Okay. Now, the recipe <clears throat> that I use for, for this uh, calls for dry sherry, but I don't have dry sherry. So one of the substitutes for dry sherry is red wine vinegar, but it calls for one third of a cup of dried sherry. If you have it, you can put it in, but this is a lot more potent than dried sherry. So I put a little more than a tablespoon into a measuring cup and I diluted it, the rest of it with water. So I have one third of a cup of diluted red wine vinegar. Okay, and I'm gonna put this aside for one moment though. I can take this over and show you how it looks thus far. I hope everyone is doing great. I really, I'm, I'm really appreciative of all of you. I just want you to know. Now, normally you would put uh, egg noodles, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna... Normally you would put 
these in, but I'm not going to use these today. I don't quite have enough anyway of those. But these look like little lasagna noodles. And I'm going to use uh, 284 grams, 10 ounces of noodles. So yeah, use the noodles that you like. Uh, Casey quite likes these. They remind him of like the roller coaster. Cans of roller coaster when he was younger. So I'm going to put that in. And you want to uh, coat these noodles because you don't want them dry when they're in there. Oh, oh yeah, there's one more ingredient. I gotta put some milk in, excuse me. Oh. Now, let's see. this is three fourths cup of milk. I was mixing it and I was like, that's not usually, uh, usually can coat in these here. So I was like, oh, see, milk. You know what I didn't do? And I sometimes forget, it never really gave me a problem, but uh, I hope it don't today, is uh, I usually butter a bit of my pot, but I am going to put a few dabs of, uh, a few tablespoons of margarine on the top. I think I'm really going to like it with these noodles, actually, just for a change up. So I'm going to put... Three tablespoons now. I might put one at the end. Smoosh that over. Smurge! Smurge! So, let the magic begin. Now, if you want it, you can mix all that stuff in a bowl. I just didn't want to dirty a, a bowl. I just mixed it in there. But if you want to really mix it up well with a whisk in a bowl and then put a Put it uh, in there and then your noodles, that's fine too. Okay, neighbors. So it's been in the uh, crock pot on high for two hours. Uh, in, in my particular crock pot anyway, maybe a little bit more than two hours. And uh, yeah, if you want to put it on low, just double the amount of time basically. And let's see, show you what it looks like. I'm going to get my oven mitts here. I'm gonna put it in this here so it'll look prettier. It will look prettier. It's bubbling away in there. Mm. I love, I love tuna. Now, uh, just about more than halfway through, I gave it a little mix because I was curious of how it was going. Because I wasn't sure how long it would take with these noodles. And some of, uh, I'll show you the bottom of the pot because I didn't, uh, I didn't grease the pot or put a liner in or whatever. So some of the noodles did stick. Okay, a couple in there. Nothing a little soak wouldn't do. Look at that. Well, that looked good. I like the little uh, uh, lasagna type noodles. I'm gonna put a little scoop in my bowl. I have a tasty poo. Let's see how this tastes. Noodles are soft, not too soft at this point in mine anyway. But if you want to cook them a little less, a little longer, you know, uh, once you make it, once you'll know how your crock pot does making noodles, but make sure that you do coat the noodles, uh, that they're moist uh, with the sauce that you put in so that they don't uh, get dry and kind of hard. They, they do cook nice and soft. I love peas. Mm. Very inexpensive, very tasty. Something quick and easy. The onions are fully uh, cooked. I was wondering about that because it only went two hours, but they were diced small. So, very nice. Anyway, I won't keep you much longer, just enough to say goodbye. I'll see you later. I don't really care for goodbyes, but I'll see you later. 
Thank you for being here. Let's don't forget to check out my friend Linda and see what she made. And I hope that you all have a good weekend. I know I've been putting up a lot of videos lately. Um, it's like I'm visiting like friends when I do this and it's, it's fun for me and I do understand, you know, busy lives and that and you can't, uh, it, it may be a, a lot of videos to watch and I get that. So anyway, uh, be putting more out and uh, you're welcome to, to visit my kitchen anytime. I love you all. Peace, love, God bless. Bye.